What's up guys and welcome to Simple Review, the series where I, Pepper Homie, briefly play a game, review it, and I keep it simple. Let's get into it. Atlas is a pirate fantasy survival game that supports private and public gameplay. It was made from the creators of Ark Survival, so immediately when you start the game you'll begin to see some similarities between the two. When getting started, you can choose between joining a public server or hosting your own private server for you and your friends, and you can choose between PvP or PvE. Now this game is in early access, so once you actually start playing the game, it's not uncommon to experience some bugs. This game was released in 2018, and just from me checking it out briefly, I can see that they're still developing the game, so this game is not abandoned. So once you're actually in the game and you choose your desired spawn point, you begin to start to collect resources and throughout this whole time, a little pirate head pops up on the screen and is trying to navigate you and how to get started in the game. But at the same time, the music's breaking up. Uh, so I ended up just turning off the volume of the music just because it's just pretty buggy. At first, I was enjoying that this little pirate head showed up to kind of navigate me how to get started in this game. Because games like this, it is kind of overwhelming to get started. Uh, but then I quickly realized that he was going a little bit too fast for me. Uh, but towards the end of his explanation, he did explain that all the stuff that he was saying was available in the menu. I was then able to locate a tutorial section in the menu that had a video explanation of how it all gets started. And now while these tutorials may help you a bit, I think that this is a game where you really got to put the time in to Google a few things because there's not a tutorial for everything in this game. So if you're starting out this game and you feel like, wow, I just don't even know what I'm doing, just you really got to take your time. This is kind of like an MMO. Uh, I think it's even classified as an MMO. So just really take your time. Don't knock this game because you just don't know what you're doing. So the basic gameplay experience you'll have while playing this game is you'll be collecting food, water, crafting a base, crafting weapons, crafting clothes, making a pirate ship, and exploring, finding new monsters and treasure. And if all this sounds like too much work to you and too much of a time investment, uh, there's actually server options to allow you to kind of speed things up. Like it allows you to quickly tame monsters rather than it taking a while and getting more resources when you're getting resources from say a tree or a rock. So overall, I did enjoy this game. It's not typically something I would play, but I have played Ark Survival, so I can easily identify some things that need to be done in the game. But if you're brand new to this type of game, um, I, I feel like maybe you should go towards the route of getting Ark Survival, uh, but that's up to you. If you prefer dinosaurs or you prefer a pirate adventure, that's up for you to decide. I think that if you are an Xbox player and you have access to Game Pass, uh, you could play Ark Survival for free, uh, rather than actually just buying this game and I, I, I would agree that you should just go that route rather than buying this game uh, But again, you know, it is up to you if you rather have an a pirate adventure rather than dinosaurs But overall, I'd probably give the game about 7.5 pepperonis out of 10 So if you guys like the content uh, drop a sub drop a like and I'll see you guys in the next one